All right, everybody, let's do this. Longo is here to talk to you a little bit about the triangle inequalities and the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. The triangle inequalities is just going to tell us if three random side lengths will make a triangle. The converse of the Pythagorean theorem is going to tell us if it's a right triangle, an acute triangle, or an obtuse triangle. So we've got two separate parts to this lesson. So first, let's see if we can figure out if three side lengths actually make a triangle. So to do that, I'm going to explain a little something. We have three different sets of sides. We have 4, 5, 10, 4, 6, 10, and 4, 7, 10. And we're going to come up with a couple of different possibilities of whether or not these make a triangle or whether they do not make a triangle. And notice how they're all arranged in numerical order. That's a little tip that'll make things much easier if you rearrange these side lengths in numerical order. So since they all have 10, I'm just going to call the bottom we're going to have these little endpoints as hinges for the other sides. We're going to call that one 10. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to create another one, another side of this triangle, and we're going to say that it's 4. But we're just going to put it down there for now. And then the other one is 5. And this is the one we're going to adjust because they all have a 4 and a 10. So we're just going to use this guy right here, and we're going to say that he's 5. If you look at that, if this entire length of the triangle is 10, and this guy is 5, and this one over here is 4, they're not even long enough to connect on the line. So if we were to angle these up a little bit, as you can see, they would stop right around there. They wouldn't even come close to making a triangle. So those guys are obviously not going to make a triangle. So since 4 is in the next one, we're just going to adjust this again to make 6. So if we look at it this time, this guy becomes 6, which means 4 plus 6 is 10. All we've done is a little bit of angle addition. So if we start lifting this guy up on that hinge and we lift this side up on this hinge we're barely missing it so that's not going to create a triangle either because they are equal on the length of the segment but once you tilt them up a little bit it's not going to work so this guy doesn't make a triangle either last one's going to be the giveaway So now we're going to have 4, 7, 10. So if we take this segment over here and we make him 7, that's going to give us our still our length of 4. But now we're going to go all the way out here to 7, which means they're going to add up to 11. So we have a little bit of space once we tilt this guy up we can finally make a triangle. Now, of course, those aren't the only lengths you can use, but basically what we're getting at is the two little segments have to add up to be bigger than the biggest segment. So here we have 4 and 7 is 11. That one was a triangle. 4 and 6 made 10. That was equal to 10, so that didn't make a triangle. And same with this one, 4 plus 5 is 9, that is not bigger than 10, that also does not make a triangle. So basically, if you think about things in two different ways, if you were to arrange these in numerical order like I mentioned, A plus B has to be bigger than the third side, C. Or, if you think about it this way, A plus B minus C has to equal a positive number, and then it is yes. If it is equal to a zero or a negative number, the answer would be no. Okay? So that's how you determine if sides make a triangle. So now we're going to move on to the converse of the Pythagorean theorem, which is going to tell us what kind of triangle it is. 
So we already know that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. That's going to make a right triangle. So if we look at this example over here, 6 squared plus 8 squared is equal to 100. So then c squared, we're going to find out that the length of this guy is 10 because if we take the square root of both sides, this guy's going to be 10. So from there, what do we want to look at? So let's get rid of this stuff. Say this guy's 10. That's the only right triangle you can make with a 6 and an 8, if those 6 and 8 are the legs. So what happens if this wasn't 10? What happens if this was shorter? than 10, say 9. 9 would stop right about there, which means we would have to angle this guy in, and now we can see this just got smaller. This is now acute. So therefore, if the Pythagorean theorem is less than c squared, you're going to have an acute triangle. So let's go think about that for a second, then let's write down a rule. If a squared plus b squared is greater than c squared, you're going to have an acute triangle. Okay? Because 6 squared and 8 squared, remember 9, that's going to give us 81. 100 is bigger than 81. That's why it's acute. And now let's go look at the last possibility. What if this was 11? So then we would have this triangle and this hypotenuse, what we can call, we're just going to extend past it now. Now it's 11. As you can see to draw this, it now just got bigger than 90 degrees. And now it's obtuse. So 11 would be 121. This would be 100. And that's less than 121, which means that's going to make an obtuse triangle. So if a squared plus b squared is less than c squared, then we have an obtuse triangle. And of course, if a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, we know by definition that's a right triangle. So let's come up with an easier rule instead of memorizing all of those. If you put them in numerical order again, what you need to do is you need to just do a squared plus b squared minus c squared. And if that equals 0, it is a right triangle. If it equals a positive number, it is acute. And if it equals a negative number, it is obtuse. So that's how you can use the converse of the Pythagorean theorem to classify triangles, whether or not they're acute, right, obtuse. And even, if you think about it, isosceles, scalene, or equilateral. So here's a couple of practice problems. 3 squared plus 4 squared minus 5 squared would be 9 plus 16 minus 25, which equals 0. So this right here is a right triangle, but it's also three different side lengths. So this is a scalene right triangle. If we look at the second one, we see two sides that are the same. So we know this is going to be isosceles. And now, in numerical order, of course, 4 squared plus 4 squared minus 6 squared is 16 plus 16 minus 36 is equal to a negative 4. Since this is a negative number, that would be obtuse back from the rule we have written up here. Negative numbers are obtuse. 
Finally, the last one, we can see that all three are the same, so it's equilateral. And then if we do 5 squared plus 5 squared minus 5 squared, we have 25 plus 25 minus 25, which is equal to 25. Since it is a positive number, it is acute. So that's how you can use the Pythagorean theorem, the converse of the Pythagorean theorem, to classify the type of triangle it is by angles and sides. So that's it for the video. Now, special request here, shout out to Brock for this good idea. If you understand the lesson, you are good to go. But if you would like to try a couple of practice problems on your own, you can try these three. The first thing I want you to do is determine if the lengths of the triangle or the lengths here that are given make a triangle. If they don't make a triangle, you're done because you can't classify something that's not a triangle. If they do make a triangle, take it a step further and classify it in terms of its sides and angles. So pause the video now, try these three problems, click play when you're ready to see the answer. So let's see how you did. First thing you have to do is organize these in numerical order. And first step, is this a triangle? Little one plus the next one minus the big one. 4 plus 6 minus 8 is equal to 2. Since it is a positive number, yes, it is a triangle. So now we have to classify. Keep it in that same order, 4 squared plus 6 squared minus 8 squared is equal to 16 plus 36 minus 64. That's equal to a negative 12. Negative numbers are obtuse. So since we have three different side lengths, this is an obtuse scalene triangle. Okay, second one, you would have 3 plus 5 minus 10, which is equal to a negative 2. So this is not a triangle, and you have nothing else to do. We can't classify this as a scalene not triangle. It's not going to work. Last one, let's start out 5 plus 12 minus 13. That's equal to 4. So yes, it is a triangle. 5 squared plus 12 squared minus 13 squared is equal to 25 plus 144 minus 169, which is equal to 0, which means this is a right triangle. But since there's three different sides, it's also scalene. So this is a scalene right triangle. Alrighty, so that's it for your practice problems. This is Longo and I'm out. See you, bye.